everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. So the last time I uh, uploaded a video, I shared the stacked books. Well, I actually just showed you a tutorial on how to create, I think I did the green one, or was it the blue one? No, it was the blue one. Um, so make sure you guys check out that video if you guys uh, missed it. Um, but I didn't get to really share um, all of the other books, so I completely forgot. I don't have everything adhered yet. Um, what I plan to do is um, decorate just the top of the book and then of course I'm going to put some goodies inside it. Um, so as of now, since I don't have anything in it yet, I am um, not fully decorating it yet. Um, but let me go ahead and share with you guys what I made. So um, when I did the tutorial, I I believe we made, oh, it was this one. Was it this one? It was it, I think it was the hearts one, wasn't it? No, it was this one. <laughs> so you guys saw this one on my last video. So that's how it looks like. And one of you guys commented that my video was a little fast. So I apologize for that. It would have been really, really long if I did not speed it up. Um, you know how it is sometimes when you're editing you you know you have to do a voiceover and speed things up so anyway um, so I just thought I'd show you so with this one I think um, I next time I think I'm gonna make the you know the 110 pound cardstock or the stiff board that I put inside the cover here um, I think I'm going to make it shorter, maybe just this much. So instead of four inches, because on my tutorial, I told you guys four inches. But if you're going to put this on there, I would actually just measure it probably less than maybe like three and three quarter at least, or even three and a half inch wide. And then... Um, this um the length can be the same about five and a quarter or even five inches um because that way it's not too stiff because you want this part to be flexible so that you can open it it doesn't really bother me that i can't open it fully but i don't know maybe for some of you it might um this one is the same way this is the first one i made and um i kind of made a mistake on this one because I didn't put the magnet because I forgot and so I had to add it later and then I had to add this extra panel right here to cover up the magnet and then this is the one that we created when I did the tutorial and this one was a little bit better and so um, that is the stacked books that I made. And then I did use, again, the paper that I'm using right now is She's Magic um, from Dear Lizzie. So I'm trying to um, kill a collection. So, <laughs> uh, and, and it just, everything coordinates because I'm going to be gifting this. So, um, yeah, so that's, that was that. And so... I just thought I'd share that with you. And then I did um, create something to go inside my little suitcase. Remember, I made the suitcase. So if any of you guys missed it, again, I do have uh, not a tutorial, but I do have a project share on how I or just to share the suitcase with you. And again, using the same paper, um, She's Magic. Um, but I decided that I would make a little mini and well it's not that little <laughs> so let me go ahead and take that out I did work on this the last um, few days um, so let me go ahead and share that with you so it fits perfectly in here now I don't know if I'm completely completely done with it yet I might add some more I don't know gems or something else Oh, and I definitely need to work on the spine because as you can see, I have a seam here um, because I did have to use two 12 by 12 um, cardstock to create the cover. 
and usually I put something here on the seam. Um, but let me go ahead and start off with, uh, after I had made the cover, I put, I stitched a shaker, which is this piece here, this long piece, which is one of the, is it one of the cut aparts? No, I actually created that. Um, I just cut a piece of cardstock measuring six and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Sorry, four and seven eighths. So it's not even five inches. Four and seven eighths. And then I stitched it with some of the organza. And I used the, which one was it? I used the, um, this one right here. Sorry. Oops. Couldn't get to it. I used this organza right here. So I did that. I put it, I laid it over the cardstock and then I stitched all around. And before I closed it up, I put some shaker bits inside. And so I did use a lot of, um, I think I used a lot of the Alina Craft bits. The star, see the little um, North Star? I used the uh, blue butterfly and then the flowers here those are all alina craft some of the flowers are from my stash um, actually when i created this though i did also stitch on this part here i did stitch it in half so that um the sequence would stay down here because then i had to adhere this piece which isn't even fully adhered because i kind of wanted it to still shake Okay, and then the top here, it barely shakes because then I started gluing things on top and then I put the flower. So now I lost all the sequence that was supposed to be there. Let me see if I can get it to come down. There are some sequins, as you can see right here. So, um, and then I just layered some of the journaling cards or cut aparts from the collection. I love this little girl here. So... Um, I stitched that one and then, um, yeah, this was previously made. I had stitched this all together and it says magic. And then I, I added, um, some Prima flowers that were already, um, it already had the glitter on it. I just made a little cluster there and I don't know, I'm going to maybe do something else here. I'm not sure yet. And then I also added some trim on the bottom here before I... Um, adhered this down and yeah that's about it on that one the back I haven't really done anything to except for I did put this um, I sewed this so I used the holographic um, this one right here from Hobby Lobby I cut a strip and Let's see, it's probably like three and a quarter inch, maybe three quarter inch or less. I don't know. I didn't really measure it, I guess. Have uh, not quite three quarters, but almost three quarter inch. And then I stitched here. Before I stitched it, actually, I put paper on the back. And the reason I used paper instead of this one is because I put a magnet in there and I didn't want to put this uh, material because I didn't know if the magnet would still work. Um, I thought maybe this might be thicker. So I just did paper. So I sewed paper on the other side and then I just used an eyelet here, one of my larger eyelets. Um, I made a hole on the cover and then attached the eyelet so that it um, will hold my strap and then there is a magnet underneath here. And I just used the same magnet that I've been using, the small little magnet. And then I just added a Prima, another Prima flower. And that is my closure. And I thought it came out really pretty. And then um, I made another a policy, a, a small policy envelope on this one. I added one of my um, pre-made um, paper, um, what do you call it, bow another prima flower 
I put another fastener here or the Velcro. And then inside, I think I just have a die cut or, um, oh, I have this little postcard. Do I have anything else in there? I think I took it out actually, because I ended up using it to decorate. And then here, this is an Alina Craft, um, Alina Craft die. Really pretty and intricate. And I used one of my holographic papers to cut that. And then I made three, three strips of um, banners here, and I just kind of, you know, um, bent them a little bit. And then I put another Prima flower there, and this is all stitched. Each page is stitched. And then um, this is one of my medallions that I created, or a ribbon, prize ribbon that I had shared with you guys before. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Okay, so. And then here, it's one of those, I made a little pocket, kind of did in a little accordion fold here. And the reason I did that was because this was a big uh, six inch, four by six um, cut apart. And so I didn't want to cut it, so I just kind of, made it smaller by putting the little accordion fold there and then I added some of my um, ribbons there and then I made a little pocket and before I glued that down and then I just have these little cut aparts from the collection or I think this is part of the ephemera pieces and then um, on the other side I didn't like embellish it too much because then it would get too you know bulky this is another pocket I don't have anything in here yet I don't know exactly yet what to put in there but I did create that pocket this is also a pocket in here and that's all stitched up so I just kind of you know again made a collage here just layered some of the ephemera pieces and um, some of the cut aparts this one I left blank um, I think I didn't want to embellish it. The reason why I didn't embellish it too much and so I left a lot of it blank was because in case the recipient wants to put a picture. Because um, initially it was going to be an embellishment book and then I was like, no, I don't, I don't think I'll make it an embellishment book, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. If I make some flat embellishments, I may just go ahead and stick some. I was thinking of maybe just making some bows or something and putting it here. We'll see. Or maybe I'll put the bows here and make some rosettes here. But for now, they're, you know, going to be blank in case the recipient wants to use this as a mini album. Because really, there's only three pages. I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's a very small mini album. Not small, but it's only three pages. And the reason is because I used half inch gussets. And I only, this is only about two inches my um the thickness of my spine is only about two inches so i was only able to get three pages in um this is another pocket here and uh, i used um this is a die that creates a pocket that my my bff erica gave me um i showed it uh when i did my birthday uh haul i mean my birthday um share from erica and I just put this piece of cardstock underneath so that, you know, the hearts have a background so you can kind of see the hearts. And then um, I scallop the edge just using my scissors, scalp scissors. And that's about it on this mini. Um, I thought it came out really cute. This is a fun paper collection because I just, you know, there's... Um, it's very, very colorful, <laughs> but I love that it has pastels, but then it also has some really bright colors in it. And um, yeah, a lot of corals and yellows in this one. Um, so I thought that came out really cute um, to go ahead and put inside the mini album. And I'll be gifting this to a friend. So thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.